Good evening. Hello, Hi. Sophia. Hello. How are you? How are you? Fine. Fine. Good. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Hello Helen. Hello, Helen. How was your day, ladies? Busy. Busy? Okay. You, Helen? Very, very busy and complicated, but... You like it? Okay, Christian, how are you? Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. I find things good. How was your day, Christian? Oh, very, very occupied. 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 Yeah, or very, very busy. Very busy. <laughs> okay. Did you come to San Salvador? No. Um. No. Yet. Okay. Next so you, month, maybe. All right. Yeah. Maria, how was your day? Hi. Um, was fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in your house all day today, Maria? Yes. Good. Resting? Yes. Good. And Mercy, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing okay. Thanks. <laughs> Last day of the week. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So what is today's date? What's today's date? Today is for Friday. Yes. Today is August 14th, the year 2020. All right. Hello, Jimena. Welcome back. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Okay. All right. Um, so today is August the 14th, year 2020. Do you guys remember the topics we discussed yesterday? Do you remember the activities we did in class? Mm hmm Yes. Yes, teacher. Is how is the the use the sequence adverbs? Okay. Verbs, after that, that. Good. Next, finally, etc. Good. Very good. So we use um, sequence adverbs to express or explain the sequence on how something is done. So first, then after, blah, 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 and, and finally, very good. Now, uh, when you start the explanation or the, ex uh, uh, the explanation, what is the first adverb, uh, uh, sequence adverb that you need to mention? First. First, what is the last one? Finally. Finally. And what is between first and finally? After that. Okay, after that, what else? Good, Araceli? Then. then next. Next. Later. Later, okay. So the ones that are between first and finally, do they have an, a specific order or you can play them, you can play with them in different positions? We can play with different positions. Exactly. You can play in different positions. So you say first, then after, or first, after, then, later. So whatever you have between first and finally can be played in different positions. Okay, good. What else did we do? Do you remember the other activities? Mm -hmm. Helen, Maria, Mercy, Araceli. What else did we do? Sophia and Jimena are very anxious to know. Mm. They want to take notes. So what was the other, the other activities that we did? 
Do you remember? Remember you were dealing with a with a difficult client? You had to choose uh, one situation from, I think it was five options that you had. So you had to choose one and explain what would be the solution for, for each situation. Any questions or comments about yesterday? No? Do you have plans for Saturday and Sunday? No. No. Do you usually plan or do you things do you do things spontaneously without planning? Do you plan or Depends. do you just do? I Depends. plan. You plan <laughs> things. <laughs> okay. I like to plan everything. <laughs> yeah. When you plan everything, the results are much better. But sometimes you do things without planning and sometimes they happen better than when you plan so exactly. anyway. all right okay so um your first activity you guys are going to be working in pairs and you guys will talk about what you plan to do today tomorrow sunday mm -hmm. and monday all day if you mm -hmm. have any plans so let me Assign you, we got right here, create rooms. With. Right here, okay, so here we go, people. Just talk about what you plan to do today, tomorrow. How do you say pasado mañana in English? Exactly, the day after tomorrow. <laughs> the day after tomorrow. How do you say ayer? Yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday. How do you say anteayer? The day before yesterday. Very good. So the translation is literal. If you want to say anteayer, remember it's anteayer, not antier. Antier is Salvadorian. The right <laughs> word is anteayer. So you say the day before yesterday. If you want to say pasado mañana, you say the day after tomorrow. So, so you will talk about the plans that you have for today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and Sunday all day. Here we go. Helen. Loading, loading. Okay, I will change you to room one, Helen. Okay. Okay, what did you do? Or oh, what is your, your plan for tomorrow? For tomorrow, my plan is um, uh, I'm going to the work. <laughs> I will go into the work. Okay, on Saturday and Sunday? On Sunday, uh, maybe I'm going, 
I stay with my family. What oh, shift okay. are you working tomorrow, Maria? What? what shift? What shift are you working tomorrow? What time are you working tomorrow? Uh, um, I work uh, 3 p.m. at 7 a.m. Okay, from 3 p.m. to 7 a.m.? Yes. How do you say turno nocturno in English? Night. Night shift. <laughs> night shift. <laughs> now remember, night shift has a nickname. Do you remember the nickname? Yes. What What is the word? Let Let me write it in the chat in in the chat so you can say night shift, or you can say graveyard. Mm -hmm. Graveyard. Yeah, graveyard. Right. Now, graveyard means cementerio. Do you remember exactly. how to say? Do you remember how to say Apollo in English? Nickname. 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 Exactly. So nickname. Nickname. Right. So uh, night shift is the correct form. Oh, I have to work night shift. But in the United States, it's very common that people say graveyard. I have to work graveyard today. But the real meaning of graveyard means cemetery. Please, teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes, ask me. Grave, graveyard, graveyard. Graveyard. Is, uh, his, his use is only when I work in, when I will work in, in the all night. Yes. Or for example, or for example, I work at uh, started eight a.m. and finished night nine p.m. No, graveyard. Do you remember how to say desvelarse in English? How do you say no. quedarse in English? How do you say quedarse? Stay. 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 So if you want to say desvelarse, you will say stay up. So stay up. if you're staying up, it's considered to be graveyard. Ah, oh, okay. So if it's one in the morning and you're still working, it's graveyard. If you finish okay. at 9 p.m., it's only part of the night time, but it's not considered to be graveyard. Okay. Okay, it's clear, teacher. All right, very good. The module, the module. How do you module, say modulo? Module. 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 Yes. <clears throat> module. Uh, the module don't uh, not start yet. Doesn't start yet. Doesn't start yet. Which module, uh, Sophia? In, in my master. Oh, you're studying your master's degree. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, what is the name of the master's degree? It's a MBA. Uh huh. Yes, with a specialist with, uh, about logistic. Okay. Good. Nice. So, uh, are you officially enrolled, or are you waiting uh, to start? I'm waiting to start. Okay. Which university, uh, Sophia? It's in <laughs> Elde. It's a, a, a Spain Spanish university. university. Spain, yes. Okay. Good, good. Nice. Master's degree, they require a lot of work. Yes. You have to study a lot. Yes. Okay. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, I think it's the, it's the same plan. <laughs> For Monday, maybe change. I wake up early, then I connect to to check the, the homework for the kids at the school, and I plan in the activities for the, the week. And then I start to, to cook the lunch, and then play with my with my daughter and and the rest of the afternoon 
stay with, with her. Are you a teacher? Uh, yes, I'm a teacher. I'm a preschool teacher. <laughs> preschool. 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 Uh huh. Now, when you mention homework, uh, are the homework assignments long? Yes. It, the the homework. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say. It. Se les deja por una semana. Okay, so you leave homework weekly. Weekly. Semanalmente, weekly. Sí. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you say, I leave homework weekly. Mm -hmm. So how much time do you need to check one section of homework? Sometimes I, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. Uh -huh. For for section. Okay. Or, or per section. Per section? Per section. Uh-huh. 30, min 30 minutes. Okay. All right. And how many sections do you teach? Three. Okay. Good. All right. So make Louis talk. <laughs> Louis wants to speak. Order stuff and receive my my desk because i need a desk and uh, and the night uh, with a couple of friends and and the sunday rest oh amazing uh, how about you christian what do you do this week yes in the morning um, wake up um, seven o'clock uh, Breakfast, uh, no, then uh, breakfast, uh, eight, yeah, eight, yeah, um, then uh, see movie, uh, play, uh, I play PlayStation with uh, friends today. Oh, okay. Mm. And do you have plans for the weekend, Christian? In what? Do you have plans for the weekend? Mm. Do you have plans for tomorrow and Sunday? And Sunday, uh, working. You're working on Sunday? i working. Oh. Okay. Uh, eight. 8 a.m. at uh, 5, 5 p.m. Okay, from Finally. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. From 8 to 5. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's go back to the main session, class. Okay. Hello, Magdalena. We don't listen okay. to... Okay, welcome back. Okay, hello, um, hello. how are you? Pretty bit tired, but it's okay. You have to. Are you better than strong. yesterday? Are you better than yesterday? No, I, I feel the I feel the same. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, well hope tomorrow we don't have <laughs> class, so I will rest. Okay, good, good. Nice. All right, so any questions or comments about the plans that you have for the weekend or how to use uh, future tenses? No? Okay, so um, our, our next activity is related with speaking and listening. Um, when you want to rent a house or an apartment, what aspects do you take into account? So it says, I'm location. looking for a house, okay? The location, uh-huh. What else is important? The price. The price, <laughs> the price exactly. Uh-huh, what else? The location. How do you say prima? 
uh how do you say prima in english cursing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it fits for a family member, you say cousin, <laughs> but um, if you're talking about money, you will say down payment. Down payment. Yes. So, yes. So if you're thinking about buying, the down payment is, a, is an important factor. Yes. What else is important, people? The neighbors. Quality. The neighbors. Uh huh. Yeah, the neighbors. The, the, the service of the house. Okay, the, the service of the house. Okay, like yes. internet, water. The water. Yeah, yes. water. Water is very important. Yes. Uh, any other aspects that you consider before you rent a place? Quality. The space. Okay, the space, the quality. Yes, the quality of the house. Like, they are, is it well constructed? Okay, so uh, before you continue answering, I'm going to assign you, hold on, let me show you this. It's right here. Okay, do you see, uh, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay, may I have yes. a volunteer to read the introduction, please? People often. People often. People. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, people often look for cheap apartments or condominiums to rent when going off to college. Other students choose to stay with a homestay family, mm -hmm. but this isn't always possible. They offer what are three things you look for in a selecting a place to live. Put them in an order of importance to you and discuss them with a partner. Okay, very good. Thank you. Any well, questions about vocabulary or pronunciation on the part she just read? Now, the scenario here is like when, when you go to university, for example, if you're from Musulutan, Chalatenango, Huachapan, and you decide to study in San Salvador, you need to rent a place or you want to buy a place. Uh, but what aspects do you take into account? Now, this one here is about studying, but we're gonna change it a little bit and we're gonna put the scenario general. Like you're looking for a house, you're looking for an apartment, what aspects do you consider? So any questions about vocabulary here? There, therefore, therefore. Therefore, therefore. Does anybody know the meaning of therefore? For example, you said, uh, I have an English. I have an English class from eight to ten p.m. Therefore, I need to be connected. Or you can say, I saved money in two thousand nineteen. Therefore, I have some cash in the bank. Por lo tanto. Por lo tanto. Por lo tanto. You say therefore to introduce a result or a consequence. Okay, uh, someone said homestay? Yes, what is the meaning? Okay, what is the meaning of homestay family? So a homestay family is a family, is a group of people that they adopt you when you go to a particular place. So let's say I'm going to Costa Rica to study and I will be staying with a homestay family. So you will stay with a family, but they're not your blood. They're just uh, someone that will receive you when you arrive there. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Any, any other questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No? Okay, so I sent you this image to the WhatsApp chat so you guys can discuss it. So let me add rooms. I have enough people right now. So he will be moving. 
all this here, five. Move two, five. Move two, five. Move two, six. Move to six. Move to seven. Move to seven. And yes, we still have space here. Uh, move to eight. And Move to eight. All right, here we go, people. Mention the three aspects, the most important aspects you consider before you move to into a house or an apartment. So loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. We have, hello, hello. Hello. We have to to discuss and discuss. classify which aspects are the most important. Okay. Yes. The three, the three more important aspects. The three more important. Yes, but if you can mention more, that will be even better. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay, for me, the number for, one is always the location. For me, the second one is the quality of the house and all the... Now, when you say the quality, what, what exactly do you mean, Helen? Yeah. For me, is the, the, the... Como el estado? Okay, the condition, the condition. En buen estado, the condition, okay. thank you. Okay. The condition of the house. Okay. It's because I don't want to be in a house that is almost falling. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. If so I yes. have to pay a little bit more, it would be nice because I'm going to be in a in a good house. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Okay. The fear. Is, is the is the place the second the the price uh -huh. what other aspects do you think are important and uh, and i think the other aspect for me is important I don't know how to say cercanía de, for example, supermarkets, drug okay. drugstores. Lo lo location, location. Of, of supermarkets, uh, banks, parks, mm -hmm. and, and different things. Mm. Yes. I think it's important because I live, I think, I live lejos. Far? Far for my parents, <laughs> and I live. Okay. Where, are your, where are your parents, Jimena? They live in Antiguo Cuscatlán. And you live in Santa Tecla? In, no, in Colón. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What part of Colón do you live in? Las Arboledas. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. I remember. Okay. And in this case, for me, is is better uh, a house than than apartment or condominiums. Okay. And the other case, when if you if I live alone, 
I, I prefer to move an, an apartment or condominium. I I don't I don't need so much space, space. for for the space for to live. In, in the state depends depend for me depends what is the best. Or little little house or, or a big house. house. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you consider the size of the house is important. Size of the house, yes. Okay. How many people do you have in your family, Araceli? Uh, my family um are the four. My husband, my daughter, and my son. Okay, and four I, people. Okay, it's a small family. Yeah. Are are your children uh, teenagers uh, or? My my daughter is uh, 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 twenty three years old. Okay, twenty three. My 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 son seventeen. Okay, so you have one teenager and one young adult. Yes. Okay. Mercy, do you have children? No, I don't have children. No, you don't have children. Okay. No. I yeah. live just with my husband. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so the, the, the size of the house is, is important. It depends on, on how many people live with you. So... Okay, so in, in Mercy's case, it's even uh, easier because it's only two people. <laughs> so you don't. Yes, you... but if, if I want to buy a, a house, uh -huh. I think in the future, and in my case, I would like to have a big children. house. Okay, yes. right. And I would like to have a big house. Good, good. Very good. But nice. maybe in the future. <laughs> yeah, it will happen. Yeah, it will happen. Good. How Inundate. do you say inundations? <laughs> Floods. Floods. Yes. Uh, how do you say comidas? Foods. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you only include one L after letter F. So you say floods. Floods. Yes. Okay. Floods. Okay. Floods. What, is, what is the word flood? have to do with uh, with the place where you live it's important for for the location uh, it's without floods uh -huh. when rain when rain because in the in of couple of some of months uh, many house and cars are lost. <laughs> yes. The rain, the rain took cars and houses. Took cars and houses. Right, right. So yeah, that, that's a very important uh, factor. Uh, floods. Oh, the Santal, uh, slides. Slides. Yeah, slides. So yes. Slide. Uh-huh. Like a uh, uh, PowerPoint. No. Right. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Let me see. Slide. Yeah. Slide. What slide? Yeah. Like PowerPoint. Slide. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. So uh, the word slide is derrumbe. But if you want to be yeah. more specific, you say mud slides. Derrumbe de lodo, de tierra. So, mud. but slides is, slides. is, uh, is, uh, is, is the same word as, as the one you use in PowerPoint, yes? Mm. Right? So you have okay. to consider uh, consider what's going to happen when, when it's the rainy period. That's a, that's a good uh, aspect to consider. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let me check this one. My God. Uh, hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Mm -hmm. Fine, and you? Okay, I'm Fine. doing okay. Did you finish uh, discussing the aspects you take into account? Yes, yes we are agree in 
all the aspects. Which aspects? Because, uh, we consider it, for me, the number one is the price, okay. the dimension of the house, and the location. And okay. for Luis, he think the first place is the location, the, location. the price, the price, and the dimension. And okay. Dimension. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that the dimension or the size of the house depends on how many people you are planning to, to have in the house. Right. Yeah. Right. So if you're thinking right. about a big family, you need a big house. No, I don't no, think no. about a big family, but... Big family, no. <laughs> a big house, but not a big family. Yes, yes. Only two children. Okay. Louis, well, you have I two don't... children. Yes, I have two children. Okay. Wendy, do you have children? No. no. I'm single. <laughs> okay. She's single. I don't think about um, having any baby. Okay. Uh, because I don't like it, but I want to have a big house because I grow up uh, with a big space. Right. <laughs> Did you grow up in the same house where you are right now? Yes. Yeah. I have 20 years living in this house. Okay. Yeah. It looks like a big house. You have space, trees, yes, and everything. Yeah, big yes. house. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that, you know, everybody likes big houses. I love big houses. Like you have no idea. Me too. But, me too. but the, the place where I live is kind of small. So, but maybe in the future I get a bigger house. I, I think the same because I don't know, being a small place is like a suffocating for me because uh -huh. I kitchen in the free air. I clean, I wash my clothes in the free air and okay. stay with a, a small space. I know it's like a weird for me. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, I don't like small uh, places either. I love, you know, spacious where people can play. Yes. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. Welcome back. Ronald, what are you drinking, Ronald? <laughs> A can of soda. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Enjoy while you can. That's a new presentation of soda <laughs> with, with, with a dark container. <laughs> okay. So uh, what aspects do you think are the most important when you are getting a house or an apartment? Uh-huh. The location. The location. Exactly. The, the area. Location. The price. The price. Security. Okay. So let me write this down. Location, price, security. Uh-huh. What else? The, the activity to the place. The activities? No, uh, like the, the accessibility. accessibility. All right, yeah. Is it accessible? Especially <laughs> if, if you don't have a car, you need to think about is it is this place accessible? You know? Yeah. Because you can say, Well, I have one car or I have two cars, but one day maybe something will happen to the cars and how are you going to move? Yes. Yeah, the accessibility. Very good. Uh what else? The space. The space. The space. Do you prefer big spaces or moderate places? Moderate. Okay. I love big houses. Big houses <laughs> yes. are good. Big houses have huge magic. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. they have a, a kind of a privacy. Yeah, true. Someone else wants to... The service of the, of the play teacher. Okay, the services. Water, electricity, internet, public transportation. 
What else? The neighbors and the neighborhood. Exactly, the neighbors and the neighborhood. But how do you know the type of neighbors that you will have in the future? What is the only way to know? How do you know if the neighbors are good or not? Living at home? L living there. Or maybe yeah. you, you're going to have to ask, look, how are the neighbors here? Knock, yeah. knock, knocking on seven stone. Okay. Um, anything <laughs> else? <laughs> In my opinion, you need to know, for example, you need to, 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 to check the country. Track. For example, if you need to rent an apartment or a house, you need to need you need to know terms of the lease. For example, the 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 period, the fee, and you should know the terms of the mortgage and so on. That, that is a good. If you if you need to take a good decision, you need to know the terms of the contract. Right, right. Yes, if you need to make good decisions, the contract is really relevant. Which conditions you will be under? How much will you be paying? Will you be paying extra like security, maintenance and, and, and things like that? Yeah, how much interest you will be paying? So that is very, very important. Anything else? Any other aspects? I own the house. The size of the house, yes. The size of the house is, is relevant, yes. Okay, do you, big in a, do you live in a big, small, or, or a moderate house? A small house. A small house, okay. So maybe one day we'll get to move to a bigger, bigger house. Okay, so let me play the audio for you. I need to know uh, the quality of the sound that you will hear. So let, let me play this for you. Okay, what is the quality of the sound? I don't hear nothing. You don't hear anything? No. no. Okay, yeah. let me. Okay, let's do it now. One more time. No teacher. No teacher. Teacher. You don't hear anything? No. 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 Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Damn. Creo okay. que solo se oye lo que, lo que su micrófono capta, pero no está incluido el audio de la computadora. Ok, let, let me check again. Check, check this out. This is Anne. Oh, hi, Anne. How have you been? And how's your new apartment working out? Well... Can you hear? Yes. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. Can, you, can you hear clearly? Yes. Very yes. Clear. Okay, all right. So, Very clear. All right, so remember, after the listening, we have to answer these questions. So pay attention and take notes if you have to. You can take notes, don't worry. All right, here we go. Hello, Roger. This is Anne. Oh, hi, Anne. How have you been? And how's your new apartment working out? Well, that's what I'm calling about. You see, I've decided to look for a new place. Oh, what's the problem with your place now? I thought you liked the apartment. Well, I do, but it's a little far from campus and the commute is just killing me. Do you think you could help? I thought you might know more about the housing situation at the school. Okay, what's your budget like? I mean, how much do you want to spend on rent? Uh, somewhere under $200 a month, including utilities, if I could. Oh, and I prefer to rent a furnished apartment. Hmm, and anything else? Yeah, I need a parking space. Well, I know there's an apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacancies. I'll drop by there on my way to class today. Hey, thanks a lot. No problem. Okay, how much do you understand? <laughs> 80%. Okay, I will play it one more time. Take notes and use those notes to answer the question. It's only 48 seconds, so pay attention. 
Hello, Roger. This is Anne. Oh, hi, Anne. How have you been? And how's your new apartment working out? Well, that's what I'm calling about. You see, I've decided to look for a new place. Oh, what's the problem with your place now? I thought you liked the apartment. Oh, I do, but it's a little far from campus, and the commute is just killing me. Do you think you could help? I thought you might know more about the housing situation at the school. Okay. What's your budget like? I mean, how much do you want to spend on rent? Uh, somewhere under two hundred dollars a month, including utilities, if I could. Oh, and I prefer it to rent a furnished apartment. Hmm. And anything else? Yeah, I need a parking space. Well, I know there's an apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacancies. I'll drop by there on my way to class today. Hey, thanks a lot. No problem. All right. So, what is the main topic of the conversation? A search for a new She's apartment. Search for a new apartment. Okay. The problems with living in an apartment. This one here. No. No. Uh, a search uh -oh. for a new apartment. Hmm. Okay. A search for a new apartment. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. What about number two? Why doesn't Anne like her current apartment? It's far, it's far from, far from campus. campus. Okay, it's far from campus. Okay. What about the next question? How much money does Anne want to pay for rent? Two hundred dollars. No more than two hundred. Two hundred dollars. Okay. Now she uses uh, a preposition. She says below, under, above. So what is the answer for this one? No more. Around two hundred dollars. Around two hundred dollars. Okay. So, Anne wants to rent an apartment that it's close to campus. Close to campus. Okay. Close to campus. Okay. Close to campus. Right. Furniture. She mentioned uh, furniture. Aha! Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes. Okay. And the last one to help Anne. What is Roger going to do? Check out an apartment. Check out an apartment. Okay, very good. Let's check your answers. And uh huh. No more. Somewhere under. No more than two hundred. Uh huh. Exactly. So, what's the meaning of under? Debajo. Debajo. Uh -huh. Menos. Exactly. Uh huh. Abajo de. So, uh, the the answer should have been no more than two hundred dollars. No more than two hundred dollars. Okay. Good. Uh, any questions or comments? No. No. All right. So. Um, Let's close this window here. All right, so we go back to speaking. Uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday, we have been practicing with uh, sequence adverbs. Uh, sequence adverbs is one of the topics that you guys will find in your midterm exam. And not only the midterm exam, but it's a topic that people use very frequent in real life. So um, how would you help El Salvador be a better country? What would you do to help El Salvador be a better place to live? What will you do? Solutions to make El Salvador a better country? <laughs> Uh -huh. Or do you think El Salvador doesn't need any changes? What is your opinion? Maybe be more polite to others. Okay, be more polite to others. That is very essential. Yes. What else? How do you say alcalde in English? Or no? Mayor? Oh. Yes, mayor. Uh, mayor. Who said mayor? Helen. Me, Helen. Okay, yes, mayor. 
So okay. mayor means alcalde. So imagine that you were the mayor of the place where you live and you are in campaign. Um, you are one transparent, honest, loyal person. And when you're in campaign, you present your project. So I want you to use the next, uh, the next 15 minutes to talk about how you would improve the place where you work. Do you remember how to say municipio in English? How do you say país in English? Country. 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 So if you want to say municipio, you delete letter R and you say county. County. County, yes. So how many counties are there in El Salvador? 14. 200. 262. Exactly, 262. So imagine that you're the candidate for, for to be the mayor of, of the county where you live. You have to present a project. So um, use first, then, after, next, and finally, five steps. So you guys are going to be working together. So let me, um, I will move him to room three, move him room three. I will move her to room four. Hi. Move to room eight, move to room five, and room four. Room nine, room nine. Move to room nine. And the last one, move to room nine as well. Okay, so two, two, so everybody has two people in the group except one. So let's do this. Uh, so make a plan or how you will improve your, um, your county, your city. I mean, if you don't want to participate in the politician part, you can, you can represent yourself as a member of the community where you live and you present what you want uh, to the politician. So here we go. So use first, then, after, blah, 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 and so on. Loading, loading, loading. Good evening. Hello, Stephanie, Maria, and Coralia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Very busy. Busy, huh? Yes. You, Coralia, how was your day? Uh, busy and tired. Okay. Do you work Saturday yes. and Sunday, Coralia? I don't work. Okay, all right. And you, Stephanie, yes. do you work Saturday and Sunday? Yes, teacher. I have an accountant office in the okay. pen, in, in the in the independent, uh, como profesional independiente. Yeah, like a freelancer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Can you activate your camera, Stephanie? Uh, yes. A ver. There you are. Okay. She told me that it's near to the to the how, how do you say this beer teacher? Detour. Bypass. Detour. It's not bypass. Uh -uh. A, a bypass is different. You say detour. Let me write it in the chat. Okay. Yes. Detour. Detour. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Thanks. All right. The school, so... the, the school Escuelona is the center of the Congo, the Congo City. Yes. Oh, uh, it's pretty. And the teacher, how do you say invertir? Invest. Invest. I, I was yeah. okay. Invest. But I. I would like to invest in education and in education with the kids. Kids. Mm -hmm. for... oh. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How hello. are you today? Are you okay? Mm. Magdalena? Oh. How was your day, oh. Magdalena? Uh, excuse me? How was your day? How was... Uh, no. ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Oh. My, my day... Was? Uh, was... Uh, Busy? Hard? Hard. How was your Hard day? Work. Okay. I work um, today every day. Este, you work uh, a lot. Uh, okay. You work very much. Very much. Uh, 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 how do you say? Nunca me aburro en mi trabajo. I never get bored. I never get bored. So you're 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 usually busy. Eh, siempre tengo diferentes cosas que hacer. Okay, um, I always have different things to do. I always think have different things to do. Different have to you. Okay, to do. I always have. I always have different things. Different things to do. To do. Very ah, good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you never get bored. Ah, okay. All right, uh, good. Es, es, teacher, eh, yes. eh, conforme el tema que estamos viendo uh -huh. y la, los, las secuencias, uh -huh. eh, en la política, ¿en qué nos vamos a basar para poder hacer como... Ok, el, el... If, if, if you are considering yourself to be a, a candidate, la propuesta que usted se le venga a la mente. Mire, primero voy a traer una nueva línea de buses. Después ah. voy a terminar de construir el parque. Mm -hmm. Then voy a traer, asegurarme que todas las casas tengan agua potable. Ah, o usted yeah. puede hacerlo desde el punto de vista de un ciudadano. Mire, yo voto por usted si me hace esto. Y también lo empieza okay. a, a poner así. Ah, ah, ok, ok. Ya. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's very, very, very simple, easy to do. Okay. Ah, okay. Sí. Thank you. Para alcaldesa. Um, um, I working in the in the special special play, uh, place for the children because uh, uh, the mother uh, going to work. And the children, uh, uh, is a problem uh, along in the house. So and you want to make a daycare center? Daycare center, I, uh, um, my, 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 my decision. Okay. On, uh, build, building daycare. Good, good. And what aspects do you consider are important in a daycare, Araceli? Um, uh, baby, zero, uh, the five years. Children that are five years old? Yes. Okay, and what would be the limit of age? Um, zero, zero, five years old. 
Oh, from, from, okay, both five years old is the beginning or the limit? The limit. Oh, the limit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, good. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Did you, did you finish your project? Yes. The Major Josue. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Castillo Castro. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what, what county are you running for, Josue? Hi. What, what, what city are you running for? Are you Only... running for Ilopango? Yes. Okay, yes, good. I love Tango. All right. So what is what is your proposal? Josue? They improve the security. Okay, first improve security. Then uh, improve the the sanitary polite. Uh what do you mean? Mm, for example the 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 trash oh okay how, yeah, do, the, how yeah, can the, i uh, say it? yeah the sati uh sanity the sanity the sanity okay. of the city yes mm -hmm. the sanity of the city and what more and what else their recreations recreational spots mm -hmm. okay can you finish that one, Sofia? The the last two uh, steps. Finally, um, in doing con conscious conscience. Conscious. Conscious uh, about preservate. For preserve. example, preserve. Uh huh. Uh, for example, it's easy as uh, no pedir. Ask. Uh, ask. It's easy ask uh, a new no a new park, but but uh, remodel. Remodel the park or ask for a for a street a uh -huh. new remodel the street, but. Uh, is more easy if all the community participate and uh -huh. remodel first is more is more um, economic more economic more economic and more fast faster there more faster only faster faster uh, only fast. Uh, uh -huh. It's faster and um, they preserve it because they work in that. Okay, good. Yes, when you involve uh, people that live in the area, it's more economic. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So let's go back to the main session. He have to work for a safe country. And the last one. What we can put? Finally. Finally, which aspect we we are we are in considerate? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. So you need one more step, one last step. Yes. The okay. Finally. You guys have about two more minutes. It's a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But need teacher, how do you say? <laughs> eh, como, eh, Salvadorian expression is manita de gato. What What's the meaning of manita de gato? <laughs> <laughs> manita de gato is como que usted va a re, um, a re, uh, remodel. Usted va a remodel, remodelar algo, pero uh -huh. ese eso que va a remodelar no necesita mucho. Okay. Con una, con una media pintadita, oh, una oh. repelladita. Eso okay. es como una manita de gato. Okay. 
So you can say a uh, superficial work. Mm. Superficial work. Uh huh. So it's, it's not serious. It doesn't need much money or time. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Yeah. So it you is. can see it, it's superficial work. It's it's not that uh superficial. Work. Yeah. It, it's not complicated. Yep. Teacher. Uh, yes. I have a, a marvelous idea if I were a mayor in Santa Tecla. Okay, well, what is your idea? <laughs> I think that uh, that I put a nightclub. Okay. In the in the middle of the city. Okay. Santa Tecla doesn't have any nightclubs. No. Not one. No, it could be a good idea. Right. Right. Lips version two, chapter it's, two. Yeah. Second stage. <laughs> You know, and that's what makes um, business to have good results when you bring something that is not around. So, uh, yeah, you know, like, true. so if you bring a, a strip club to Santa Tecla, uh, people would, would visit the place, you know, so because they, they don't, there is no competition. Yeah, we have, we have the monopoly in Santa Tecla. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, you know, like, and, and, and you know, a strip club, it's, it, it might sound like a joke, but it's, it's true. If they don't have options there, you know, bringing something that there is, that doesn't exist, could have good results. But, uh, maybe it should, it, it, it should be a, a, a lux luxury uh, nightclub. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, maybe the, the, how do you say, Alcaldía? City Hall. Okay, because the city hall uh, could be earned a lot of money. Right, right. In taxes, city yeah. hall. City hall, city hall. Okay. City hall. Yes, uh, definitely. So, you know, like when you bring a business and the business is doing good, that brings income and in taxes to city hall. Right. Mm -hmm. So... Have you seen the new Wendy's and uh, the Denny's at the entrance of Santa Tecla? Yeah, so looks in, like. Yeah, it, it's a it's a nice place. So that would be a good spot to create your idea. <laughs> so speak with uh, with some to see what his answer <laughs> is. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. All right. Is everybody back? I think so. Okay. Let me take attendance before we continue with the with the class. Uh, Sophia, Stephanie. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Hmm. Uh, they're still coming back. They're still coming back. Okay, so let's, uh, Fernando, are you here? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Coralia? Present teacher. Good, Ronald? Present. Good, uh, Marcela? Marcela is absent. Okay, uh, Jimmy Rodriguez? He's absent too. Uh, Christian Alexander? Present teacher. Very good. Teacher. Yes? I am doing in the break group. Uh-huh. And I don't listen my name. Yes. I am the first. Sophia Stephanie, <laughs> yes. Okay, I got you. Thank you, Sophia. Yeah. Josue Edgardo? Present. Okay. Uh, Jimena Alejandra, Alexandra? Present. Good. Uh, Samuel Rosales? Present. Okay, good. Uh, Rocio Mejia? Very good. 
Uh, Mercy Carolina. Present. Good. Ana Araceli. Present. Good. All right. Uh, Maria del Carmen. Present. Good. Uh, Helen Mercedes. Uh, what do you say, Mercedes? Mercedes. <laughs> Okay, Helen, Only Mercedes. Helen, thank you. I'm here. Okay, <laughs> Helen, okay. Uh, Luis, where's Luis? Present teacher. Present okay, teacher. good. <laughs> Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Christian Omar. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Guadalupe. Present. Okay, and Magdalena. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Now, uh, I need to hear your, your work. So uh, you can present your work if you are running for a politician or you can present your work as a civilian. Like, look, I can give you my vote if you do this. First, you have to make a park then you have to make sure that all the houses have water, blah, 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 blah. So, first volunteer, please. Alabio, alabao, alabim, bom, bam, Fernando, Fernando, ra, ra, ra. Okay, Fernando, it's your turn. Okay, Fernando. <laughs> okay, okay, teacher. Greg Samuel, we established that several proposed to improve the city of the Congo. Okay. Uh, the, the fear, pick the strip, uh, cleaning of the suburb, the security, the implement more biosecurity measure, the invest in the scholarship. Okay, Only good. That okay, good. Okay. Now, your ideas are clear. Now, can you mention them and use adverbs of sequence? So, first, invest in scholarships then okay okay um, i will do that okay okay go ahead uh, first we will invest in the scholarship because if we want to change uh, uh, and do a, a better job in our county we have to invest in our child so we'll we'll be invest in the scholarships okay After that we will invest in security because always always so, someone have to they feel safe, and if we want to make our children went to the school, uh, we have to to uh, provide security. And next, we will fix the street because we know that uh, a lot of children with her parents, with the parents, have to take a public uh, transport. So we will pay fix the face for that they can uh, uh, better access to the schools. And finally, we will clean the streets because if we make that our children saw that we are care about of the of the natural, how do you say, medio ambiente? Environment. Environment. Uh, they will have uh, another uh, thought about our county. And for all of that, uh, Oh, sorry, I say fi finally, but it's not, the, that's all. Because we we will have a, an implementation of a, a biosecurity program for the schools. So they can always, went to the school, uh, feeling safe. Because no one, um, or at least not all of the children have access to, to internet. Okay. And that's all. Good, very good, nice. Congratulations, Fernando and Samuel. Good. Thanks. May I have another volunteer? Christian and Ronald. Uh huh. What is your proposal? Okay. We uh, we have a, a we have a, a big idea. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the There's third. a. Firms, uh, uh, maybe I will be a, a populist mayor. Okay. So uh, they, then I eliminate 
all the taxes in Santa Tecla. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we will need a, a we will need a, enjoy in the city. So uh, maybe I will build a big a, a big club night a nightclub. <laughs> in, the middle, in the middle of the city because you know the city hall needs to earn uh, tax taxes so that could be a good idea All but right. it should be a luxury night glue with beautiful girls beautiful boys and so on okay <laughs> Yeah, you know, and, and, and he was mentioning that Santa Tecla doesn't have any nightclub, so it, it could be a, 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 a good business. Okay. Just, just right now, it's a it's a a board a boarding city, so a boring we need. City. Uh, you can fun. you can give free sample of of some drugs like uh, marijuana. <laughs> you know, it could be. A, a great idea too. <laughs> okay. Maybe a <laughs> Okay. All right. Someone else? Someone if else wants to share your ideas? You will enjoy the city. Uh-huh. <laughs> like <a> Las Vegas. <laughs> okay. So what happens is Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone else? One last uh, volunteer? Coralia, Stephanie, Maria, somebody? Me, teacher? Yes, please. I work with uh, Coralia and Concepcion. Okay. And our proposal is uh, first to get better education because knowledge makes a country rich than having money. After that, to get better the public transport, then improve uh, the health sector, and finally, uh, recreation areas for the family. Good, good. So, you know, that covers, thank you, Maria, uh, that covers important uh, parts of, of a society, you know, like transportation, areas for the family, uh, work opportunities. That's good, very good. All right. Uh, someone else wants to practice your writing and share with us? Jimena, Magdalena, Rocio, somebody? Okay, please. Uh, I work with Helen and we discuss about the environment and we think uh, first we invest in kids education and parents. Okay. After that, we think it's important to make aware uh, about vegetables and fruits. Okay. And we give the family seeds. But, uh, so that the family make, I don't know how to, to say, huerto casero. Uh, greenhouses. Greenhouse. Uh huh. Okay. Then uh, we think it's important to make aware about the recycling. Okay. But in this uh, in this topic, maybe make aware uh, from two adults. We think okay. uh, the kids they learn very fast. But the problem, we discussed that the problem, eh, uh, somos nosotros. We are the problem. We are the problem. Okay. And finally, maybe put documentaries on TV about how <laughs> are we damage our world, but para generar conciencia to, to make, generate to conscious. Gener conscious to adults. Okay, good. So remember, uh, children, they imitate what adults do. So if we do bad things, they will start doing bad things. If we do good things, 
they will start doing good things. So, uh, yes, I mean, like when you're trying to make uh, changes in an adult's uh, mentality, it's not that easy, but it's easier to teach the little ones, children. Yes, very good. Anybody else wants to share what you wrote? Anybody? Anybody else? No? Hi, teacher. Yes. Hi, teacher. Yes, Araceli. If I were the mayor, I have an idea uh, with the daycare for the a children daycare. for mm. for the children uh, from zero to five years is necessary uh, for the mo the working mother okay so you will help the working mothers yes. with a daycare yes okay and would that be your priority araceli would Excuse that me? be your priority would that be your your priority. La prioridad, sería su prioridad. It will be your priority. Okay. All right, good, good. Yeah, helping mothers, it's a, it's a great idea too. So uh, some counties, they should have daycares for parents, mm -hmm. mothers, fathers that they need to work and they don't have a babysitter. Very good. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? No? Okay, so let's change activity. The following exercise is related with pronunciation. Um, do you remember the differences between regular and irregular verbs? No. No? Does anybody remember? In, with regular verb, agree at the end of the verb, the letter E, D. Okay, good. So regular verbs, okay. What about irregulars? I mean, that is only one example. So regulars from present to past, you put E, D at the end. What about irregulars? I think that irregular verbs, it doesn't, doesn't follow a, a rule, so you need to memorize. Okay. So, For an example, irregular, uh-huh. What is the example? Do, the verb do. Uh-huh. What is the past tense of do? Did. 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 Okay. So, to make the story short, regular verbs from present to past, you only put ed at the end. Can you mention other examples of regular verbs? Play. Rain. Play. Play, played, okay. Other examples? Dance. Dance, danced, uh-huh. What else? What, what is it? Look. Watch, watched, uh-huh. Listen. Listen, listened, uh-huh. Study. Work. Study, studied, work, Cook. worked, Work. Cook. cooked, okay. And then we have irregulars. When we talk about irregulars, ED does not exist. So ED is exclusive for regulars. So an irregular example is go when. Can you mention other examples of irregulars? Eat. Bye. Bye. Okay, what is the past tense of eat? Eight. Eight. What else? B. Forget, forgot. No, B. Forget, B. forgot. Very good. What else? C. C. What is the past tense of C? So. 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 Very good. Break. Broke. Bro. Bro. Come. <clears throat> Came. Go. Went. Went. Say. So. Say. Say, 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 said, say, said, said, tell, told. Told. told, told. Okay, so here's 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 the uh, what I want you to see. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Okay, do you see the document? Yes. yes. Okay. So how many sounds do we have of ED in the past? Three. Three. What is, how do you pronounce the first sound? Helped. Helped? Washed. What is the, washed cooked. and cooked. Now. The T of the end. With, with the sound T, right. Yeah. So I need someone to read the introduction that we have here. Can somebody please read this here? Elizabeth? Elizabeth graduated last summer. Graduated. I waited, I wanted to take her picture. So she smiled and I photographed her with some of her friends. Good, very good, thank you. So the past tense of graduate is graduated. The past tense of want is wanted, the past tense of smile is smiled, and the past tense of photograph is photographed. So here, here's the explanation of when you will pronounce ED, that sounds like T. So if this is the termination of the sound, P, K, F, S, S, H, or C, H, ED is going to sound like T. So helped, washed, and cooked. So never say helped, don't say washed, don't say cooked. You're supposed to say helped, washed, and cooked. Now the second option, how do you pronounce the past tense of play? Played. Played, the past tense of lived, Lived. 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 Lived in the past tense of rain. 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 Rained. Okay. Rain. So here we have a different sound than the previous one. So if this is the termination of the sound, including A E I O U, then the E D will sound like a D. And that's the reason why you say played, lived and rained. Any questions so far? No. No? Okay. Now, sound number three, what is the past tense of wait? Waited. Waited. Uh-huh. The past tense of want? Or wanting. Wanted. Wanted. And the past tense of need? Needed. 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 Okay, so when do we produce the, uh, that sound? We produce that sound, the extra syllable, when the termination of the verb is letter D or T. So waited, wanted, and needed. Now remember, this right here, it's only a sound. This is only a sound. This here, it's a syllable. It's an extra syllable. Do you remember how to identify the number of syllables in a word? With the number of vowels you hear. Exactly. So the number of vowels that you hear will indicate how many syllables the word has. So once again, this here is a sound. This is a sound. This is not a sound, this is an extra syllable. Do we have any questions about this? Okay. Any questions, class? Just the pronunciation with ID. I tried to say it, but I don't understand how to do it. The, the last one? It. Yes. Okay. Because, uh, it's way teeth. No, okay, that's, that's a good question. The, this symbol right here, it's only the phonetic representation of the sound, but the yeah. real sound is ed, waited, wanted, needed. and needed. needed. So this right here, the, the sound is represented with letter I, needed. but that is only the phonetic symbol. So you're supposed to say waited, wanted, 
and needed. Needed. Yes. Okay. Waited, wanted, and needed. Okay, thanks. Okay, any questions there, class? Any questions or comments? No? Okay, so let me... No. no. All right, so let's... Um, let me show you the other one. Screen share. Okay, do you see the document that I'm sharing right now? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so this is what I want you to do. According to the previous uh, image that I sent you, I want you to discuss the ED sound of these verbs. So what would be the pronunciation of finish in the past form? Finished. Finished. Uh-huh. What about number two, complete? Completed. Yeah. Completed. Very good. So let me make the rooms again. I will exchange here. I will exchange here. I will exchange here. I will exchange here. I will exchange here as well. And I will exchange with this person here. All right, so classify the sounds, please. It looks better. I talk like uh, two pills and I feel better today. Yeah, today. you sound better than yesterday. Yes, I. this morning I feel better. Good, very good. Good for you, Wendy. Thank you. Yesterday. And 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 Okay, we 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 are just um, colocando la el placing. Tipo. Yeah, uh, so you're placing the sound. 
So, yes. uh, ah, okay, okay. Right, Just so, sound. right, right. Okay, thanks. Okay, good. So, Because and uh, it ends with B. Rubs. Rub. 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 What is the meaning of rub? I don't know. Have you heard about vaporub? Big vaporub. <laughs> Rotar. Right. Okay. So what okay. you do, you get the, the ointment, you put it in your hand, and you go like yeah. this. You rub your hand. You rub. rub your hand. Rub. Right. And rub. that's why his name so, is Baker. So rub. 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 Okay. Rub. Rub. Yes. Rub. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Clean. Clean. Deal and 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 rub me rub the vocal verdad voice voice no vowel vowel is vocal vowel means a e i o u vowel 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 so we have vowels and we have consonants. Vowel, 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 vowel. E. Okay. Letter E is vowel. Yes. Letter E is vowel. Vowel, 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 vowel. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And next, wash, wash it. Mop, M M O P, mop, mop, mop. mop. How, what, what is the past tense of wash? Washed. Washed or washed? Washed. Washed. Washed is correct. Washed. Okay. I I don't. ¿Cómo se dice? Add, Rocio, add, can you hear me? El, the microphone is broken. Oh, okay. And my camera is broken too, teacher. Oh. Okay, so let me let me uh let me assign you to other groups. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so Stephanie, you will go to room three and Rocio. We'll go to room two. Yeah, ah. Rocio's microphone doesn't work. Ah. So okay. that's why I moved her because she was working with Stephanie and Stephanie's camera doesn't work. So they were like incomplete. <laughs> so that's why I moved her. Okay. It's okay, teacher. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know about it. <laughs> about it. Okay. Teacher, mopped yes. is like trapear. Yeah, mopped. Okay. We didn't know. You didn't know. No. So, so you thought mopped, it was right with the... Yeah, so uh so when when you come back to the house you ask your brother and sister, what did you do today? He said, Oh, I mopped the house. Okay. Uh, okay. I mopped the house, exactly. What do you do before? Something you mop? that I do and Fernando no, don't. Okay, and Fernando doesn't. 
Now, what, what, do you do, what do you do before you mop? What do you do? Barrer. Uh huh. Sweep. 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 Can you spell it? Sure. S W E E P. Sweep. T. Yeah, with P. Sweep. Uh, I wrote in the chat. Sweep. Sweep. Ah, with P. Yeah, with P, P as Peter. in Peter. Exactly. P as in Peter. P, P as in Peter. Sweep. Uh huh. So, and the past is swept. Sweep. Now, sweep Swept. is it's irregular. Oh, it's okay. irregular. So the past tense of sweep is swept. Swept. Uh huh. Swept. Swept, and you and spell you it like with... like that. It's in the chat. Sweep, swept. Okay. Swept. Yeah, swept. So I sweat and mop every day. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. You know, when, when I was a teenager, I used to do a lot of things in my house. You know, we were in the United States, and in the United States, it's very expensive to pay for someone to clean houses. So my parents, they mm -hmm. distributed the activities so one week you do the dishes you will do the mopping you will do the sweeping so everybody had different responsibilities when it's i was good uh, work teacher that's good what is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's good work <laughs> yeah but when you are a teenager you don't like those activities you're like man why do i have exactly. to do this right okay now that you're an adult you're and like and then well, you always uh huh. I have to. <laughs> right. And, right. Like, and then, as an adult, you like to have a clean space. Exactly. So exactly. you do it without uh, without asking. Exactly. And then you <laughs> tell your children, "Clean your room. Uh, help me here." Mm -hmm. And so you replicate <laughs> what they did to you before. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. So I'll be seeing you later. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Tea? No, no, no. Number seven, it's washed with T. Yes, with T. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But the pronunciation is is not, not is, wa is washed with washed. T. Yeah. Washed. That, yes. Okay, thank you. The number A is mopped with M mopped. 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 Uh -huh. With T. The number nine is hug, hug, hold, 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 hold. With, D. with D. And the number ten is kiss with T. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. In the case of, of repair, teacher. Okay. Um, repair. Let me show you. You see the document that you have um, right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. in part two, uh, it says verbs, verb ends in voiced. When we talk about voiced, we're talking about terminations that have vibration. So mm. when you say help, wash and cook, those do not have any vibration. Mm -hmm. With the second group, all the sounds that finish with vibration, then you pronounce them like this. So you say repaired. Okay. Repaired. Right. Okay. That so, was a good trick. Right. right. So I didn't understand that you. I didn't understand that you that you explained that the first time. But with that explanation, it, it's it's more it's more clear. Yeah, it's clear. So voiceless means there is no vibration. Number mm -hmm. two, voiced, it means that the sound has vibration. Okay. And then sound number three, we don't care if the sound has vibration or not, but if you have a D sound or a T sound at the end, then you produce the extra syllable. Okay. Thanks, right. teacher. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Anytime. 
Hi, teacher. Hello. You guys Hello. finished? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes. But I I have a question. Yes. What is the the good pronunciation that hug in past? Hug. Hugged. Hugged. Yes. Hugged. Hugged. Yes. Hugged. No. Okay. Hugged. 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 Okay, so when, when you say hug and you want to pronounce it in the simple past form, um, you eliminate letter E and you pronounce only the D sound. So you say hugged. 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 Yes. So you said, okay. I took my sister to the airport, we hugged and we said goodbye. Okay. We hugged, hugged and we hugged, said goodbye. Hugged. 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 In, in, the, in this word, rub? Rub? Rubbed. It's the same. It's rubbed. 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 Yes. Okay. Rubbed. Rubbed. Hugged. Uh -huh. So you say rubbed, hugged, okay. and so on. My saliva came out. Okay. So you know, this is this is this is the rule that people apply when they are pronouncing ED in the simple past uh, form. So you have to decide if the sound is voiceless or voice. Remember that voiceless, let, let me show you the screen. Uh, hold on. It's right here. Okay, you see the screen again? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So uh, when we say voiceless in number one, voiceless means that the sound, that the last sound doesn't have any vibration. So when you say help, what is the last sound that you hear with help? The letter P. Letter P. Letter P. And letter P doesn't have vibration. What about wash? What is the last sound that you hear? S H. Exactly. S H. How do you pronounce S H? Sh. So when you say sh, there is no vibration. And when you say cook, what is the last sound that you hear? Uh, the, the letter K. Letter K. K. So when uh, you pronounce uh, cook, it doesn't have vibration. So when you see the word voiceless, it represents that the sound doesn't have vibration. Number two is the opposite. When you say voiced, it means that the termination of the verb has vibration. And then sound number three, in sound number three, we don't care if it's a voiced or voiceless sound. Uh, it doesn't matter if it has vibration or not. ED is pronounced uh, with the extra syllable. Okay. Yeah, okay. and that is how you uh, classify the sounds. Yes. Okay. How do you say um, in, in, como in seco, the, the first option con, with the sound letter T is, is dry. Um, is dry. Right. Dry. Yeah, it's dry. So like there is no, there is no echo, there is no vibration. It, it's dry. It's dry. So, so dry is a good word. Yes. Okay. All right, okay. good. Okay, let me, you, let me, all right, good. Let me check with, uh, with your other friends. Christian and Lewis, you are room number eight. Here we go. Ruth, entonces, a roof. Roofed. Con de. Roofed. Rubbed. 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 What is the meaning of the rubbed? Okay, what is the meaning of rub? How, have you heard about vaporub, big vaporub? Yes. Okay, 
So if I have pain in my hand, I take Vic and I rub. Frotar. Frotar, yeah. exactly. That is rub. Okay. Um, teacher. Yes, uh, Magdalena. Cuando duplicamos la última... Consonante. Uh, consonante. Cuando lleva solamente una sílaba y esa sílaba está compuesta, las últimas tres letras, consonante, vocal, consonante. Como el ejemplo de hug, abrazar. So, how oh. do you spell, how many syllables in the word hug? ¿Cuántas eh, sílabas tiene hug? Three. Una. Three. On, one, one syllable. Uh, one one syllable. syllable. ¿Y cómo está Pero compuesta? esa sílaba consonante vocal sí, consonante vocal, consonante ajá so when that is the case you have to double the last consonant ok o right. sea que eh, eh, igual eh, mo exactly ru y hug yes hug okay. uh, rub and mop you double the last consonant yes you double the, the last consonant, but you, you pronounce uh, with the rules. Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. Yes, because when the, the difference when you double the last consonant, it's only on paper. But when you mm -hmm. say the word, you don't know if it's one P or double P, if it's one G or double G. So the difference is only on paper, not with pronunciation. Okay. In the case mm -hmm. of hug, uh, the past is hug. Hugged. We, double G. Double G, E, E, D. D. Exactly. E D. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. Hug. Hugged. H U G G E D. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Double G. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, did you guys finish with the list? Did you finish no. with the list? No. Not no. yet? No yet. Uh, okay. Mop. 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 What's the meaning of mop? Mop. What is the meaning of mop? Uh, mop uh, means trapear. Uh, so when you're cleaning your house, first you sweep and then you mop. 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 Yes. Mop. Hug. Hugged. 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 Uh -huh. um, in, in the case of kiss, yes, kiss. No, not only ED. Only ED, because remember, the rule mm. says, if, if the verb has one syllable and the last three letters is a consonant, vowel consonant, consonant mm -hmm. then you double the last consonant. Mm, yes. In case you have vowel, consonant, consonant, consonant so it doesn't con apply. Uh -huh. okay. okay, okay. I understand. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh -huh.
All right, can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Um, what is the past tense of finish? Finished. 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 With Finished. the T sound. With the T sound. Very good. What about number two? Complete. Complete. Completed. 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 Okay. Very Completed. good. So is it sound one, two, or three? Three. 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 Very good. Three. What about number three? End. Ended. 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 Very Ended. good. Ended. Option number, number three. three. Ended. What about number four? Repair. Repair. Repaired. 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 So is it one, two, or three? One. 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 Very good. What about number five? Clean. 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 One, two, or three? Two. One. Oh, no. One. 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 Cleaned. Very good. What about number six? Rub. 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 Okay. Rubbed. What about number seven? Wash. 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 Is it option Wash. one, two, or three? Option two, one, two. Two, two. two. Option two. Very good. What about number eight? Mop. 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 Uh -huh. Mop. Mop. One, two, or three? Mop. Two. 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 two is correct. What about number nine? Hugged. 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 <laughs> Hugged. Number one. Hugged. Number one. Number one is correct. And the last one is Kiss. 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 So do you say kiss. kissed, kissed, or kissed? Kiss. With kiss. 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 One, two, or three? Kiss. One. Two. Option two. Option two, two. is correct. Kissed. Kiss. Kiss. Option kiss. two. Okay. Yes. So remember this. Uh, all these right here, they are verbs. They are verbs. How do you say cansado in English? Tired. 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 How do you say emocionado? Exciting. 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 So the same rule that we apply to pronounce ED with regular verbs, you use the same rule to pronounce adjectives. So you're not going to say tired. You will say tired. tired. You, will, you will say excited. So the same rule that we apply for verbs in the regular past form, the same rule you will apply for uh, adjectives. Any questions or comments, class? No. 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 Okay, so once again, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I'll be seeing you Monday, uh, same place, same time, eight o'clock. Yes, teacher. Thank Have you. a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Sleep well. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy good weekend. Night. Bye. Bye. Thank Thank you. Bye. 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 Goodbye.